Hey, welcome back. So today we're in a 2013 Ford Edge and customer has two of these keys. Uh, one of the keys has a broken unlock button. Uh, the other one works, but they're getting like aged and they just want another new key. So let's go ahead and program. We're gonna be using the Vapon VP996. And let's go ahead, I'm gonna show you how to check the keys. So we're gonna have three keys told using the proc slot, I already found it in there. Uh, we wanna check the key count and then also program with a 10 minute cycle. And let's go ahead and jump into this. Let's see if we can turn the lights on. Can we see, there we go. So North America, Ford. And the Vapon does have a pretty good option when it comes to uh, doing the key count. Let's make it pretty user friendly. It's not a touch screen, but it's really good for Fords in those 10 minute process. So USA, it's an edge and it's a 13. It's not a normal key, it's a smart key. So let's go to smart key. And we wanna look at the keyless system. And let's look at key count. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Is it on? Okay, now it's on. There's two keys learned, which it's these two. Okay, cool. So they must be the original keys. Let's go ahead and turn off the AC. We don't need that. And let's escape. And let's go to smart key programming. It will not erase existing keys. So turn the position on, okay. It's gonna take 10 minutes. We can tell, it's, and they're like this, that means it's gonna be like a wide key and edge cut. It's gonna be that 10 minute process. Close that up. There we go, turn off that radio. Cool, do you wanna continue? It's gonna take 10 minutes, yes. Wait about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my phone timer and I'm going to open up here and we're gonna look and we're gonna see that prox pocket right there in there. So I took out their stuff, it's in here. So Fords have three options. It's either here or in the back or somewhere in the cup holder area. Look at the user manual or Google and you'll see. So we're gonna let it go and give it about 10 minutes and we'll come back and it will be ready to go. Welcome back. So we finished the 10 minute process. It says there's two keys learned and that's gonna be because of the two original keys. So let's go ahead and hit okay. Let me try to get focused, it's getting dark. Hit okay. Insert the key to be learned into the slot. We have it in the slot here, as you can see. And Back here, let's hit OK, learning key. Cool, now there's three keys, cool. Let's go ahead and take out this, the new key and check it. Cool. Do you wanna learn the next key? No, let's hit the back button, completed, OK. And let's check. Let me turn off. Cool. So the customer had a broken unlock button on one key. So now they have, yeah, that one doesn't work. That one's really mushy. Trunk opens. And trunk clothes. Cool. So one of the things I wanna point out is if we do the key count and we turn the ignition on and this would work for like the four 10 minute turn keys and stuff like that. If it says there's four, we would go through and we would erase the keys, hit back. So we do all keys lost, erase all the keys and then add them back in. So say if there's four keys for this vehicle, we would erase them all and add these three back in and then all good.
same thing for like the turn keys. Uh, that's the cool thing about the Vapon. Uh, Smart Pro, Altel can do that. This just makes it kind of user friendly to see it. And also you can um, use this just for Fords and not tie up your Smart Pro or your Altel. Just my personal opinion on this. I like it. It's very simple. It's not touch screen, but it gets the job done. Hopefully this video helps. And other than that, have a great day and I will see you next time. See ya. Bye.